experience has been great here at Weatherford College. I like the convenience of the location. It's been great working and going to school, so The staff has been very helpful for my education. quite right here in Boyd uh, the Yellow Jackets had a tough outing on Friday night um, it looked like on both sides of the ball well uh, yeah the final score was uh, uh, 57 to 26 uh, we had cut it down to 29 to 18 there in the third quarter uh, I thought we were had some stuff going good and uh, then their quarterback had a couple of long runs and they broke the game open but uh, you know uh, we did some things pretty good in that game uh, some things not so good but hopefully uh, we've got the non-district schedule behind us and we're going to start uh, working on those things that we're not doing very well and uh, see if we can't get it back on track right you got a bye week uh, uh, this week and so uh, an extra week of practice yeah that, that's a big deal because uh, we're kind of beat up right now we've got some players that are playing injured and and some that have not been able to play and Hopefully we can uh, let them heal up and still uh, do some stuff that's going to help us uh, get better. Super. And uh, I ask you this uh, every week, and I didn't know but what I'd expected to find you in the new field house uh, this week, but uh, still not there. Is it, is it uh, coming up soon? Well, we hope to be there sometime this week, latter part of this week, hopefully. And uh, I've been told that we would be able to start practice on the new field and in the field house uh, Monday morning. So hopefully that's the case. I know you and your guys are looking forward to that and uh, uh, have a good uh, two weeks of practice and I'll talk to you uh, next week. Uh, thanks a lot. Coach Cartwright, we're uh, featuring one of your coaches here this week uh, for this part of the interview. Introducing for us. Well, this is Mike Boyers. Uh, this is Mike's ninth year here. He coaches our defensive uh, tackles and uh, also, our middle school coordinator. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll spend a couple minutes with Mike here. It was a tough outing. was just visiting with Coach uh, Friday night. Uh, Price was a handful, and your guys uh, uh, had, had a tough time. Oh, sure. They, uh, they had a tough time keeping him contained. He was a threat to run at any time. We're trying to get to him and, and get to him before he gets a pass off. And we do get to him. He steps up in a crease, and, and he's gone. Yeah, he did a great job. and. You know, we just did all we could to keep him contained. Uh, is he a senior quarterback? I believe so. I believe he's a senior quarterback for him. Big, strong kid, throws the ball well and runs real well. Be glad to wave bye to him. Yes. I'm ready for him to go. <laughs> uh, your upcoming game, you've got a couple weeks of practice here, a bye week this week. Uh, what are you going to be focusing on with your guys? Well, keep them up, t up tempo, positive. Uh, as Coach said, we got several kids with a little bit of nicks, a little bit uh, some minor injuries, nothing to keep them from playing, but, you know, it's slowing them down a little bit. Uh, Pottsboro's a good team. They run kind of a spread offense where they've got a good quarterback and running back that, that's capable of running as well. So we've got to work on that, and I'm, I'm glad we saw a pilot point to, to help us work with that. Terrific. You've been here uh, nine years. I believe you said, uh, where'd you come from? I, uh, I've coached at Paradise and Chico previously, and I'm from uh, Oklahoma originally. Right. And what do you like to do when you're not coaching football, watching football? Hunting fish. <laughs> Hunting fish. Uh, that's about all there was to do when I was a kid, and I still do that, and I enjoy being in the outdoors. Oh, it sounds like a plan to me. Thanks for spending time with us, Mike. Thank you. Thank you.